You're tuned into Pedro from the VHS Bootleggers. Welcome back with another off the cuff review. A little bit late in the day, this one, admittedly, because it's a Christmas themed film. But, hmm, I still think I can just about get away with showing it now as there are decorations up. I'm not sure when you're supposed to take your Christmas decorations down. Ours comes down. It starts coming, getting packed away on Boxing Day, I'll be honest with you. Because it goes up very early. Early December, and then the Christmas movies are going on. The Mrs. Loves Hallmark films. But we do get to see some classics as well, like It's a Wonderful Life this year is one. Alistair Sims, Scrooge being another or a Christmas carol, of course. Um, this is none of that at all. It goes in a completely different territory. But one that is synonymous with the slasher genre and it's a sub theme genre of its own and there's more and more sort of movies come out like Fat Man and um, films of that nature there was another one which I forget, the name eludes me now it came out in 2022 like uh, evil themed Christmas films so yeah this one is actually called Christmas Evil from 1980 and i'll just go over what you get really in the package first now this came out in 2019 i'm not sure if it's um there are many left i'd imagine it's probably gone up in price like a lot of these do the scalpers get a hold of them and uh flog them on and whatnot well you know i'm uh, not above that myself on an occasion <laughs> but of course I, I like to keep them in my collection as well so it's only if i ever get uh, multiple copies occasionally I give them away not often uh, if I'm in a generous giving mood so or swap them that's uh, more accurate this one here is a really really interesting film and I'll go into a few details in a minute so that for all the slipcase wankers out there you get one of them absolutely I do like them though I've got to say really nice and then you've got the reversible sleeve. This original artwork here is really cool as well. This new, newly commissioned artwork is by a chap called Gareth Gibson. He's great. I'm going to have a look and see if I've got any of his other material. Because I don't particularly recognise that art style, I must say. Uh, maybe he's used... That, this particular art style just for this cover not sure then you've got the red case which of course is um, the library of the slasher collection comes in these and I do have a few in the collection and you've got a booklet which is really nice 12 sleighs of Christmas see what they did there a play on words of course Christmas Eve, so it goes through 12 other films. Jack Frost, everybody's heard of that. Silent Night, Bloody Night. Dead End. Actually, this is this looks pretty fascinating. I, I wish I'd read it now. I'll probably save it for next year, get some inspiration. Silent Night, Deadly Night 4. Anna and the Apocalypse. That looks quite interesting. Uh, to All A Good Night, I like the sound of that, Alien Raiders, Secret Santa, Blood Beat. So these all must be set in, at Christmas or have some kind of parallel with Christmas or inspired by Christmas one way or another. Um, I've no doubt some deeply conservative thinkers might think, well, this is subverting the original message, but... Hey ho, it uh, was subverted long before <laughs> with mass consumerism. So who am I to complain? And besides, I don't mind a bit of subversion when done well. And actually, this is a really, really, really interesting movie because our lead character is almost like a bit of a Robin Hood inspired uh, villain in a way. Villain or anti-hero. He takes from the rich and gives to the poor underappreciated in society as long as as long as importantly they follow the rules are they are they being naughty or nice and he doesn't mind slaying anybody that goes against those incredibly deeply held beliefs of his 
So this is what makes it so interesting. And also we have that, I believe it's New York, gritty kind of setting. Or it's certainly uh, suburbia. Say New York. It could be anywhere in America, to be honest with you. But I really enjoyed this film for its portrayal of its lead character. So you've got a bit of a kind of maniac type of dude who's uh, in it. In a job um, at a toy factory and he's worked his way up. He's on the board now, but he's been taken advantage of by these greedy, sort of manipulative people at the top. But they kind of express a little bit of warmth towards him as well. As I think that they, because he's so immersed in the job and takes it so seriously, perhaps he's a bit of a commodity to them as well. So... It's kind of unclear, but perhaps you could watch this a few times and get a little bit more from it. But I did really enjoy that angle, you see. I just It was a bit unexpected. It's not just an out-and-out -out slasher, and it's got a little bit more depth to it, this. And that's why I think it's certainly worth watching. Um, again, we do have some kind of... It's Again, it's not... For, for the time, it's not ov overly gratuitous violence wise at all but it is there and it's got a sort of nasty streak to it sort of a, a realism which i really like as well which is <clears throat> you know again synonymous with these kind of slasher flicks but this isn't just a paint by the numbers job at all this has got some consideration going into it and i, I do think it has some uh much deeper than surface level themes so we do have a few extras here uh commentary with the director lewis jackson and lead actor um brandon margaret commentary with di with track with the director lewis jackson and john waters who's the director of pink flamingos i'll have to get my hands on that wow talk about subversive <laughs> a divine of course uh Eating dog turds, etc. Deleted scenes, theatrical trailers, storyboards, and um, reversible sleeve, uh, and comment cards gallery. So, I've just got to say, it's a really quick review. This is, I just really do like this film. I think it holds up, and I do think it gives a little bit more than you might expect from your typical christmas themed horror slasher fair so until next time i'll be back with another off the cuff review incredibly soon i've been pedro and you've been tuning to the vhs bootleggers to little bloody pip